from Job chapter 22 verse 21. Now acquaint yourself with him or with God and be at peace. Thereby good will come to you. Now this is a beautiful scripture. The scripture is saying when you get acquainted with God, when you get to know God, when you get to fellowship with God, the scripture says when you are at peace with God, good will come to you. It has always been the desire of God to dwell with his people. He did it in the Garden of Eden. He walked with Adam and Eve. Enoch walked with God. So God desired to walk with man. What an amazing thing. God Almighty, God the Creator, he wants to walk with us. And then we find in the children of Israel, when they were in the wilderness, God desired to live among them. And even when Jesus came down to this earth, the Bible says in John chapter 1 verse 14, that the word became flesh. And he dwelt among men full of grace and truth. So all these words tell us one thing. God wants to have a personal relationship with his children. That is you and me. How does he do that today? Because Jesus died, he rose again, he ascended to his father. And he said everyone who is going to believe in him he would send the holy spirit the holy spirit is the comforter the helper you can call he is our friend our companion john chapter 14 verse 16 and i will pray the father and he will give you another helper that he may abide with you forever. The Holy Spirit is our companion. So you want to acquaint with God, you acquaint with the Holy Spirit. You want to associate with God, and get closer to Him, you get closer with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Isn't it amazing? Today, whether you are walking through a lonely path, whether you are facing a challenge, whether you are facing a mountain, whether you are facing a need, the key is get closer to the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, good will come to you.